Welcome to All Things Mac. I'm your host, Jim Fair. Today we're going to show you how to use your Mac in clamshell mode. Now, Apple doesn't call it that anymore because the machine that was based on is long gone. They call it closed display mode with an external display. So requirement number one, your Mac has to be plugged into its charger slash AC adapter. Requirement number two, you need an external display and the cables to hook this up to your Mac as well as an external keyboard and mouse, either wireless or wired. Once you have everything hooked up and the lid of your Mac is closed, you wake it up from sleep by hitting a key on the keyboard or clicking on the mouse or external trackpad. If your Mac is powered down, you open the lid briefly, hit the power button and close it again quickly, and it should boot up already in clamshell mode supporting that external display as your primary display. So this allows you to use your Mac with a much larger display than you have built in, which is handy for certain things like photo editing, uh, editing spreadsheets if you want to use the extended keypad on your external keyboard. These are all good things, uh, good reasons to use clamshell mode. And you know, you, you have to ask yourself, am I making the most use of my portable Mac if I never use this mode? You can even hook this up to your TV, assuming you don't have an external display. You probably have a pretty decent TV and it has an HDMI connector. You just need an HDMI adapter for your Mac. So here's my HDMI adapter, which is also a power pass-through and USB pass-through. So I can plug power in the HDMI cable to my external display and my keyboard and mouse plug into the USB port. And the mouse plugs into another port on the keyboard itself. Keep in mind if you don't want to plug anything into the keyboard except a mouse because that's USB 1.0 speeds. Whereas plugging into the direct USB ports on your computer is going to be a lot faster. And this applies to just about any Mac, uh, even an iMac. Don't use the keyboard. Always use the built-in USB ports for devices like storage devices. Anyway, that's all there is to know really about um, clamshell mode, as we used to call it, and now it's closed display mode. You can also uh, have the display in your Mac on, like the lid open, and use the external display as a second display. Or use your Mac as the second display by using the arrangement tab. And you can see here I'm clicking gather windows and I have two windows, one to control each display. And I have a number of options as far as arranging. I can drag the second display around the first display, but they need to touch somewhere and this will affect your extended desktop and where things join together. So that's all there is to know about clamshell mode and I hope that you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. Fade out.